welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So the last battle we did was for the Duelist and we faced off against some brutal elemental armor <laughs> and a uh, shadow cat, which we got two parts of, which was kind of nice. Um, but unfortunately we got vengeance out for a while. So it looks like we'll be doing some Royals battles. I was going to wait to the end of, like to the end of the month, get the waiver and back and everything. But now with that last battle, taking a chunk out of our financial report and everything, we got to do a, a mission today. So we're going to go to the command center. I've decided what we're going to oh, do already. Shit. We're going to take this up. one here. It's for the local government against Clan Diamond Shark. Defending a base in the desert. This should net us some good uh, good salvage and some half-decent sea bills. I think I'm going to go... F uh, it's Clan, so we got to go all out for salvage. We can make our money that way. Okay, so let's load um, the Royals. And now we've got a couple swap outs to do here. Okay. We're going to bring the Clint in today. Try that mech out. See what we got. We got medium pulse lasers and micro lasers and stuff on that thing. It's got pretty good armor. It's pretty fast. So we're going to go with that. And then we're going to bring Derby down here for the Hunter. And go this route. So, um, yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, we, we're missing half a ton on the Clint, but no, no big deal. Alright, here we go. Not the best base to defend, but certainly doable. And it's only one skull. We've defended this base before, so we know what we're doing. We just need to figure out where their initial wave is coming from. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Lots of room back here. Well... I mean, we're going to drop right here. Where's our vehicles, right? Uh, they're normally down here. Now, I heard choppers in the way in, so maybe they're copters? Let's just drop right here. Yeah, I hear hearing copters somewhere. Yeah, they're ours. All right. So we don't see the enemy. Do they not get an initial force? Oh, they're just really well hidden. Look at this, Clint, man. Look at the speed on this thing. Uh, let's just go to here. On it. Uh, Sentinel. Moving to position. Miss Links. Adder. The Viper will be back shortly, Advancing, so. I guess. I'm gonna Moving keep my vehicles position. back here for now. Put them behind the walls. Uh, did they not get... Well, that kind of has me worried. Not having an initial startup force could mean that their next forces are really nasty. I mean, I would hope that would be the case. I mean, I don't want to face, face some nasty shit, but it would be an, nice for a good fight. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Where? Back there. Mongoose. Garbage. So they're all up here, I guess. Hunchback. Mongoose, Oscout, Scout, Griffin, Bandit, Hoplite, Fox, Kit Fox, Fox CS, yes, I have no idea what that is. Ice Ferret, alright, so... Hunchback 2C, I wonder if that's an Ultra 20, it's an XJ, I don't know what the hell that means. So let's not kill him on the... Weapon side. Let's move into position here so we can strike him from the uh, non weapon side. If we can bring, bring him down quickly, he's probably the biggest threat. Mongoose, I think, has got an energy targeting computer. Might have. Although it looks like it's an older version of a mongoose, so maybe not. 
Bandit D. Is that the, uh... Oh, it's LB2 X and 2 ER mediums. That's actually a pretty nice loadout. I thought it might have been the 3 medium X pulse, um, or the medium pulse laser version. But that's actually not a bad loadout. Alright, Locust C. Pulse and 2 micro lasers, or pulse and 2 small, I guess. He sacrificed himself there, but that's fine. Uh, maybe not. I was thinking we could bring these two guys around and finish him off, but that just puts these guys at a chance to get behind us. Although they can't outlay that much damage. This is this a regular griffin? That's the 2C, okay. Shot his own guy. Appreciate the help. Oh no, he just missed. So he's got a Gauss rifle. Plasma cannon and APs. He's got a Gauss rifle. Improved LRM-15 CEs. That's a pair of those. Fox, I've never seen that before, so... As long as they're going to sit back there and do nothing, then I'm cool with that. We can pick and choose which salvage we want here. Done. Yeah, let's not get into the position where that hunchback can see us until we're in a position to kill him. So let's just get over here for now. I'm not ready to move out just yet. If that's an Ultra 20, it's death for pretty much any of my guys that get hit by it, so... We just gonna make sure that uh, we pull him down real quick. Oh, you can see me, could you? We're moving on 12 though, so it's pretty damn you. slow. Uh, so that's all indirect. That's not bad. Let's not get the Zoria killed this one, but we can fire at the Hunchback. So we'll take that shot. Commencing Alpha Strike. Alright, a little bit of damage. Systems holding. Ah, we hit our we hit our own guy, because of course we would have hit our own guy. That's it. You guys get out there. Do something. Man, the Oz Scout. The only thing that's going to make that yes, thing kind of like viable as a mech. Oof, they can really see some shit over there, eh? Don't have a lot of cover here. That's not bad. On my way. Double time. That's not bad. Hunchback style doesn't got a lot of good move like a lot of movement. It's like four six or something, so I think we're okay here. Like he might come this way, but I, I don't think he will. Receiving you. And you should have pretty much the same speed, yeah. Let's get over here. Roger. Now this Clint doesn't quite have the same firepower as this the uh, Sentinel had, but those clan medium pulse lasers, there's three of them that do 12 damage a shot, so that's like, what, 36 times 3, 100 and 108, so it's pretty good damage if they land, but then we got another medium pulse laser and an ER micro laser that can output another 60 damage. Yeah, it's an ultra. I don't know if it's a 10 or a 20 yet, though. But with the XJ and the heat that was generated, that's got to be a 20. Ooh, nice. Yes, thermobaric explosions. Beautiful. Keep them out of the battle. Standing by. All right, buddy. The key is to not shoot anybody in the back. Let's add a bit of instability to this hunchback. I wish I had the ability to Locking use different ammo in this thing, but... I'll take the instability damage if we can get it. So hopefully with him being overheated like that, he'll decide not to fire the Ultra again. 
Fingers crossed. Don't go this way. Go the other way. I don't want you facing my guys. What? No. Oh, just hold off for a minute. Not ready to move in yet. Not just yet. Smirk's not in a good position either. Oh, I don't know. We're not ready to strike that hunchback, but I feel like I have to. We're at, we're at a good moment where we can move in and fight him. Where I don't think he'll fire the... Uh, nice. Where I don't think he'll fire the um, Ultra again this next turn. I could be wrong. Like He might go for it, but he's hot enough that he might not. All right, uh... Order. And we can't even get in to strike that hunchback. Not successfully, anyway. Moving out. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed! Um, yeah, let's stay heat neutral so we can get the hell out of here if we have to. Okay, tags on. Took his whole side. Well, not his whole side, but his arm anyway. Scored a critical hit. Oof. The hunchback's in a good position. Although, I wonder if he's got low back armor like all hunchbacks. Well, almost all hunchbacks. He does. It is an Ultra 20. That's a hot loadout, man. Ready for orders. Okay, Double let's get over time. here. Let's go. We just, just so you know, we changed the paint scheme on this guy since the last battle. We weren't liking the white. Thought we'd go with red this time. Um, let's keep the pressure up on this guy. See if we can remove him. Nice, good damage. Not the mech I want to be shooting at right now, but it is the one that's available to us, so we'll take it. Going after the bandit, huh? Well, as long as he's shooting at you, I'm good. I'm good. So on 14, we'll bring the adder over to target the mongoose. The Clint, I want to see if I can get in to actually go after the... Uh, I'm here. The Clint, I want to see if we can go after the uh, hunchback. Not a perfect spot, but we'll take it. Uh, so, left shift. And we'll do that. All right. Wow. Something definitely Waiting needs to be you, done Commander. with that. Keep the pressure on this hunchback. Force him to keep his head down. Add some instability. When are you going? I'll let you, you go before the uh, Clint. So hopefully you'll reveal yourself a little bit here and not fire that Ultra. Although that just has me worried for the turn after when he's going to have that Ultra available to him. So if we don't kill him. Or at least take that um, left torso. It could be a big problem. He may very well get a shot off on us, on us at some point, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta get in there. Or we could back up and try and suck him in a little more. Missile boat. It's not nice. Oh, he fired a single round. But he's put himself in a position that we can get him now. He 
He's still really hot too. Nice. Yeah, I don't know, man. The nice gas rifle. The um, Clan 2C Hunchback with the uh, dual Ultra 20s would be like totally devastating at close range. But could you imagine, like, ooh, we want to be within a little closer range. I think there we go. Could you imagine the heat that would put out? No shooting, just running. Got it. Although with a good pilot and a good targeting computer, yeah, this is nice. Good piloting and a good targeting computer, you know, you can do a lot of damage. Like that. Yeah, this build is kind of reminiscent of that uh, that one mech that we faced a little while back with the ATMs and the three uh, medium pulse lasers. Medium pulse laser doesn't seem like much, but the the clan ER medium pulse, or just even the clan medium pulse doing 12 instead of like 10 damage, is actually significant. Considering it's got longer range too, right? So it's like 420 meters or something, or 460 or 480 or something like that. It's a fair bit. Standing by. Nope. Aye Working aye. on the main threat here. Not quite enough to make one stable. That's shooting at the wrong guy! Thermobaric the friggin' hunchback. Alright, a bit of damage. Alright, I, I mean, that's for one skull, this is actually a pretty good, uh... A pretty good um, difficulty here. Waiting for orders. I was shooting right past my guy. There we go. Drops the laser chance to hit, but we can put the thunderbolt on. I'd rather go with the sixty pinpoint than go in the two forties. With a better chance to hit. Ooh, that's like juicy. Hammer him. Firing a full cell. Yes. Didn't get the torso though. Damn Solid it. Connection on that one. He's going on 15 too. Really? Oh, we still got Wrangler before him. I think we should be able to clean him up. Hopefully get that torso and not leg shots. Like, even a single AC-20 hit is still devastating. I'm worried about where this Locust is, though. Although, I think it's I think it's got a medium pulse and two smalls. It's not that bad for damage, but still. I think we sweep to the right. I gotta... I wonder if we should just sweep up this way. Get into the trees, kill this fox, and then just hopefully kill the guys that are up there. Mongoose is not shooting, eh? Hey. Ooh, I didn't realize you were going on 17. Let's get up here. This guy needs to go away, please and thank you. Gonna go with just this though. Engage. That should do it. There goes all his ammo. Critical hit, Commander. Knocked down. So we should have two wounds now. Yep, down to one. Okay, so he's effectively out of the battle. Griffin is still dangerous with the large and the uh, LRMs. He's not shooting at me though. It's interesting. I think I'm gonna try and kill. Commander. And the hunchback can still get up, right? Um, but he has no ultra.
Let's go here. I want more evasion, but to drop my stability. Do we just turn him into a stick? Although I do want the Ultra 20. Fuck it, let's go for headshots. All we need is one. No there you go. Tango down. There you go. Ultra 20, baby. That's going in the list, I think. We got the ammo for it. I don't know what we'll put it on, but we got it. That changes things significantly. I don't think we have a mech that can actually carry it right now. It's like, what, 14, 15 tons, then ammo? So and you're going to need at least four tons of ammo, like two double tons. That's 24 shots. It's 12 turns of firing ultra. I mean, it's probably a little much, but still. Oof. That was a brutal camera angle. <laughs> and I felt that Goss round go right through that thing and right past my ear. What the hell? Look at that thing, it's bizarre looking as hell. Oof, I guess we better move. All right, we're gonna roll out here. These two guys are gonna roll out this turn. I can't get into it. L I, uh, uh, long range LRM battle with that guy. So we'll pull out at speed, see if we can get a, depending on where this guy goes, see if we can get a back strike on him, try and take him down. Locust is attempting the flank. Shooting at the wrong target, my friend. It's far scarier mechs right in front of you, and you've pretty much given your griffin, given up your griffin to a backstrike. Yeah, marginal armor in the back. About the same as the hunchback. Who's this guy? Ice ferret. You. Okay, we can't expose to those guys. Man, this Clint is like a, a light mech hunter killer. It, essentially what it is. With that speed. Let's try and kill this guy. Got it. I wanted to go after the Griffin, but it's we're just not in the right position quite yet. They're getting their uh, their fire uh, line going over here, and we'll be exposed to that in a minute. I want to make sure we're up in here. Yeah, it's tricky up there now. I got all long range. Two Goss rifles, ERPPC. Um... LBX2 and ER mediums and the uh, LRMs. So. Oh, okay. Good. Kind of did what I was, I was hoping he would do. He might. That may have given us his, uh, our back or his back to my vehicles, but we'll find out here in a second. Ready for orders. Nope. Still side shot, but we're going to move out. Get some evasion going. Give those guys up on the hill something else to shoot for. But we will go after this guy. Confirm. Fire. I mean, they all gotta die at some point. All right, applying damage. What can I do for you? Not a lot, but applying some. Make sure your front is facing that way, but it doesn't matter. They'll shoot you in the side anyway. Doesn't matter. Firing everything I've got. Okay, we pen somewhere, probably the arm. Could be the leg though. Okay, I'm assuming that was mortar. Yeah, leg hit. Oof, that sounded like a large gun. 
AC 20? It is. Better make sure I don't get between that and the, uh, Standing by. that and its prey. Do we side strike this griffin? He's going on 17. Yeah, we've got a lot of guys that are going before him, so let's see if we can pull his side. I mean, I kind of wanted to back strike him, but if we can pull out just one side, leave this off for now. Firing on target. Nice, everything hit. Spread that damage around, baby. Spread it around. Oh, he's got streak twos. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, knocked him. Thanks for that. What now? As much as I want to go after. Oh shit! Those guys can see me from there. Oh yeah, I forgot we've only got one jump jet. Um, does not help us at all, does it? They can still see me. Will they shoot for me though? That's the question. Stealth with two shot with the two chevrons of evasion? Probably not. I say probably, I have no idea for sure, but probably. A little too much. I want to go all in on this guy though, because I want to get rid of him, so let's just go do this. Wow, that was terrible. Terrible! You know what it is? It's because I constantly make comments about having more medium lasers with like a mediocre chance to hit, well, with a little less chance to hit than having a little less with a little more chance to hit. That's what it is. Ow. Fucking streaks. Receiving you. Um, just wait for a second. I want to get the uh, Miss Links out of there first. I'm going to make that move, but the Miss Links can't be there because I'm just going to end up shooting it. And it's pretty light. Once the, once we get the Viper back, then the Miss Links can get out of the rotation. And I might change the load up on the Adder to be more like the Miss Links. We'll see. I don't know yet. But I'm also considering getting some uh, AP mag shot. Interesting. Yes, Commander. Let's pull back to here. On the move. The fact that they're like right in the center of us here is like really annoying me. This should be a kill shot on this guy. I don't think I'm gonna need this. you commander okay let's not be where they can see you directly I read you commander moving out keep on this guy okay slow him down a little bit what's the more huh I don't think that he does man I gotta say that 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 skill a tugboat has the one that uh the field command one that gives the plus two initiative for everybody for a couple of turns. I think that's made a huge difference in this lance, like in regards to speed and stuff. It's, it's made, I mean, and the ability for sensors, like giving them bonus to sensors and stuff, it just makes a huge difference. I didn't think it would be that, that big of a deal, but it just feels like I have a little bit more of an edge with that skill. So it's kind of nice. I don't know what you're up to, but go after the turret, buddy. Sure. Sure. Ready for orders. There we go. Get into here. 
I mean, it's not my ideal positioning for this guy, but if I can kill him before the turrets do, that just means that uh, the turrets can shoot at somebody else. Ah, well. How much you can do about that? Oh, well. My turn's over. PPC landing or pl sorry, plasma cannon. Let's check his loadout here in a second. Ooh, Jesus, that guy's accurate as shit. We gotta kill him fast. Standing by. Okay, you can do what I wanted you to do. Get up here. We're a little hot, but we can not to fire everything. Like that can stay off. Fire the rest though. Ah man. Wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be, but we'll take it. Target's taking a critical hit. He is bleeding out. Okay, you're not firing. Although you're moving to engage me, which has got me worried. And I can't go back down the hill because there's less cover down there. Ooh, finally going after buildings. Okay. I hope that AC-20 turret can actually see the... Uh, Oh, scout. Ah, damn it. I was going to hope he, I was hoping he would blow him up, but totally be worth it. Okay. Good to go. Now I got to worry about their guys over here. Actually, they've moved off this hill. So I probably have a little leeway here. Like Moving that. Out. Not too bad of a chance to hit. Okay, good damage. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay, you can cut it out now. Fucking shoot my own guy. That sentinel is horrible for shooting my own guy. He just does it all the freaking time. There. Okay. Gotta keep me hidden behind that rock. All medium lasers on this guy. Do I want to put a? F ah, do I want the flamer instead? Nah, let's just go for the kill. All right, there's the knockdown. That should be it. Yep. Out cold. It's just the mongoose over there. Now we have to worry about. Looked like it hit the building, but it didn't register a number or the building didn't get cracked, so maybe he missed. What can I do for you? No sweat. I'm moving I'm worried about moving my vehicles up when those those freaking goss rifles are sitting up there. Gonna try and kill this guy. Nope. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. You know, in Inheritance, my vehicles are murdering mechs all of the time. These guys, not so much. Although, to be fair, these guys don't have an Ultra 20 or shit like that, so... Commander. Alright, um... Let's just go here. Sure. Firing. Ah, tags on. Nice. I don't help the turrets out. Finish him off. Where are you? You're coming down close to where we are. Yeah, plasma cannons do a fair bit of damage to buildings.
Hopefully we can keep all the buildings intact, but I, I don't know if I can guarantee that. They are making a put they are making a run on the buildings right now. But that just puts us in a really good position to murder them. Receiving you. Back up to limit direct fire. Shoot this guy. Roger. Ah, come on. It's just an off scout. Yeah, I think we go... Depending on where the hoplite's going to go, hopefully he travels down this way. But we want to kill the, the fox, I think. Oh, the ice fair? I don't know. Right in on the base now, eh? That Thunderbolt turret would shoot for somebody that, that's actually worthwhile shooting for. I've only got one hex jump too, apparently. And everybody's blocking me. Damn it. Oh, do we try that? We do because I'm insane. That could end up being very bad for us, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try it. Because we're in the Clint. That's why. I don't really care. Fire <laughs> firing. All right, engine crits. Reporting critical hit. Guy should overheat next turn. In theory, why is this thermobaric thing still shooting at a vehicle? Okay, medium lasers hit. Hopefully that AC twenty doesn't miss and hit its own building. Ready for orders. God, I don't like this now. The positioning is awful. I gotta come out of. I gotta. I can't stay there. Not with this. Not with that uh, hoplite back there. It's just bad news. I should strip armor off that guy. This guy can actually do more damage, so let's just strip some armor. Got it. And then what we'll do next turn is drop some heat. We'll go somewhere and hide. Drop some heat. My vehicles might be able to take care of the mongoose. It is relatively damaged already, so. But they are starting to rack up the damage to the buildings. This friggin' Osco is still alive, too. What's up, boss? I can't have anything between you and your prey. No problem. On my way. Because if I do, you're gonna hit it. Let's go with a better chance to hit against this guy. Roger. Alright, good damage. So this is how much does the ice ferret weigh? Not like a 30, it's a 45 tonner. That's not bad. Oof, I almost took this guy's torso. Really? Well, at least we know he's one shot pretty much to that torso. Well, I guess he's not. Technically, he's not. Oof. Sporting a tremendous amount of weaponry for something of that weight. Copy. We're gonna drop some heat this turn. Let's give him this. Looking Better that hurt. Ah. 
Oh, he's not shooting. Orders. Well, hello there. What torso did he lose? This side. Roll to that. Get our stability back. People really are not liking this Miss Lynx. Little too hot. Firing these. Locking on. All right. Well, tags on at least. Okay, good. He's going down that way. Friendly structure down. Shit. He was hitting it, even though the numbers weren't I hear showing up. Let's put around the mongoose face here. get the uh, the hunter x hunter against this guy still got like 53 internal really 12 in the leg yeah maybe we should finish off the uh, mongoose then if we can or at least hit its arm okay ha send me a real opponent don't tempt fate. These guys could actually take these buildings down. Standing by. Oh, it's, they got—they they only got two rounds left. They don't have the juice, I don't think. All right. So the question is, what do I want? Got it. I think the mongoose might have a better. Uh, Firing. A targeting computer in the head, so we go after that guy. There goes his leg. Target. That means the AC-20 turret should fire at him, probably, although it's going to go for a CT hit, most likely. Either way, as long as his head's intact. Do I want bandit parts? Or do we want to try and kill, uh, like that fox or something? They got one round left. They don't have the juice to pull all the buildings down that they need to pull down. So I'm wondering if they're going to switch targets and try and kill as many mechs as possible. That's what I would do. But we'll see here. Oh, he bailed. Nice. Yeah. See. Oh, left leg. Nice. Legged him. So hopefully we got something in the cockpit. All right, last turn. Do I want to let them move? I think we do. Waiting for my opening. I think we let them go. And then we just determine who we want to take as salvage. Based on what where they go, like what they have left, you know? If it wasn't the last turn, I wouldn't do this. But we do have the opportunity to grab something else. Is this guy giving himself to us? He is. The question is, do I think I can pull that guy down? I would like to have the Kit Fox, but he's too far away. Okay, um, so this is a 45 tonner. We could probably get one part out of it if we destroy it. The Fox is what, a 55 ton or something? Probably at least 55 tons if it's got 80 armor. Or 800 yeah, armor, I mean. Well, a Bandit would be a really nice to get vehicle parts from. When does it go? 14? What are we on now? We're on 14, so let's let that bandit go. Figure out where it's going to head Wait. off to. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Yeah, it's too far away now. Receiving you. So much for dropping heat, eh? 
Well, let's just get the ferret. Confirmed. Is it the best choice? Not really, but it is a choice. Receiving you. This move so we don't have to worry about shooting our guy in the back. Although it doesn't really matter where we are, we have to worry about shooting our guys in the back, apparently. Affirmative. Okay, we got that guy. One left target. I'm out of long range missiles. A little late for the field command, but. Okay, let's go. We're gonna generate some heat here, but I don't care. We're going with everything. Might get lucky on this guy. Got one more mech to go. Maybe things are looking up. I'm melting in here. What can I do for you? Melting! Yeah, no real chance for a back shot. All the mechs up here are done. Solid blue line, we'll take it. Uh -huh. I mean, it isn't the best, but if we get lucky and hit a leg or something. Ready for orders. Solid blue line, we'll take it. Confirmed. Not bad. Confirmed. Okay. What did it hit? It hit the vehicle on the ground. That happened to me before too. So rather than shooting what it was shooting at, it hit the vehicle on the ground, really. Well, this is our last, last hope, last best hope for peace. We might get lucky. Let's let's hope we do. All weapons, go. Yeah, see ya. One left target. I'm starting to cook. That's all right. <laughs> We've got, our on, reinforcements are showing up this turn, down. so that's fine. There we go. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, that wasn't so bad. That was actually quite a good fight. I was, I, I was, I wasn't expecting it, but then when I didn't see that the first lack an opening lance, I thought we would end up with some good competition, and we did. I mean, if they had a few, like a few more turns, that could have been a could have been a different story. But once again, it's this, it's the uh, same old thing where the, the enemy just doesn't move in in time, and when they finally do move in and start doing damage, it's just too little, too late. So. Took a little bit of damage, but no, uh, overall we did uh, pretty well. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Hunchback 2C parts. Going to do that for now. And then we're going to come down here and do that for sure. Now, I'm pretty sure we destroyed all of its ammo, but I want to travel down to the bottom. We need to double... Oh, there. That. See? I thought the mongoose had that. I'm pretty sure it was the mongoose that had that. Definitely need it. Okay, clan double heatsink kits. We definitely need a double heatsink kit, although the range finder is really nice. Tracker sensors. Ah! This would work so well on the Sentinel if we don't already have them on there. Um, half load uh, safe ammo didn't really help you did it um, four shots is safe three shots in the half load those aren't really worth it because like I said we have two double loads which is which, 24 rounds which is plenty for the ultra so I think we leave the hunchback 2C parts for now um, yeah and we need to grab the stuff that I know that we need although this is really nice too 
Uh, we don't need Pharaoh. We got plenty. I should probably grab the a, a double heatsink as well, because I know the. Um, I want to put it in the. Uh, uh God, the Battle Cobra. But the problem with that is, is that um, I'm gonna take that too. I think the Battle Cobra needs a double heatsink, and we don't have any double heatsink. So if I put a double heatsink kit in, I need to have a double heatsink with it. So that's got to come with it. Oh, fuck's sakes. <sighs> Maybe we get the rangefinder in the draw. But that's I think that's what we do. This I have to I need these. I need these now to put a mech together. So that's what I have to take those. This is obviously a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer and this is a no-brainer. So as much as I want to take other stuff, I think that's probably the best way to go because immediate with the exception of the Ultra 20, everything else is going straight into mechs. Yep, let's go that route. As much as I want the uh, two hunchback parks, we can't put one together, so there's no real point at this point. So let's just do this. And hope for a roll. We got the two hunchback parts. It's so, I gotta say, it's strange how often that happens, that I'll put something into what I want, like into the uh, salvage choice, and then drop it out of the salvage choice choose something else and then it just shows up in here like I would say it, it happens more often than not which is bizarre but then again you could also say that when I've got lasers that have a 50% chance to hit it's guaranteed that more than 50% of them will miss so I guess it kind of balances itself out so 240 core we got two of them we can sell that one 280 uh, we got one uh Let's sell it for the money. We definitely need the cash right now, too. Standard cooling. We've got more mag shot ammo, which is awesome, which means we can uh, take advantage of uh, the mag shots that we have. More, Even more ammo. Ultra 20 safe ammo. Okay, not bad. Two streak twos, though. Do we really want the streak twos? Like, I'm not going to use them, right? It's technically 16 damage for one ton, but it's a better chance, a good, good chance to hit. But it's 16 splash, so you're better off putting a clan, pair of clan ER mediums in there. It's a lot more heat, yes. I don't know. I don't know where I would put them though, that's the thing, for one ton each. Uh, let's hold on to them. I might find some use for them at some point. So we have enough to put an Osco together. We have enough to put a Mongoose together. Let's just do that. We'll get rid of them. So I really enjoyed the way the Clint performed today. More so than the way the Adder is actually perform performing. So I'm wondering if we rethink the Adder. Bring the Clint forward. Leave the Adder out for a moment. And then, like the Viper will, would replace the Mislinks, right? The Clint would replace the Adder. Then we've got these two, well, we've got three Light Mechs, four Light Mechs. I mean, I can work on getting pilots and getting a second Lance. And then just run those every once in a while. That's probably the way to go, but we got a lot of repair. Man, we got so much to repair. So I want to get the Viper up. So this is for 10 days to here. 21 days to get the Wavern back. And then we can worry about these guys later. Um, 21 days. Takes us past the next financial report and halfway through the next month. Which is interesting to say the least. So what I'll do is I'm going to work on getting the mechs back. Um, if there's a duel next month, I might just run um, China Doll in the Battle Cobra and see how that goes. Although I don't know if we'll have time to get the Battle Cobra back next month. 
Well, I'll know in five days, and then I can shift the uh, priority and get the uh, like if I have to get I have to get the um, Spectre back first because I need parts off that for the Battle Cobra. Yeah, let me think about it. Um, but that's probably going to be the way we go if, if there's a mission next month, like a single mission. And if it's a duo mission, maybe we grab somebody from the uh, from the Royals. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.